knowing that you have that, knowing that you have that sort of the pain and then the catharsis of that afterwards and that you can share that with people just makes you push yourself so much harder. Um, and also being inspired by the fact that, you know, a lot of us, even people who had a little bit of experience with stunts before, none of us were by any means, you know, trained stunt people. I mean, there might have been a few people within the cast who were, but in terms of, you know, myself, Viola, Lashana, Tuso, Adrian, this was by far the most we'd ever had to push ourselves physically for any role. Um, so looking alongside and seeing somebody else doing that, having to like supersede themselves and their own expectations, um, yeah, it gave you a little boost and you're like, well, I can do that too. And not only that, I have to do that too, because I, I wanted to be the best that I could be for the film, but I also wanted to be the best I could be for everyone else. There's this uh, uh, gentle nature that you see from Amenza in the film, um, but it's juxtaposed with this brutality that she has to have when she, you know, goes out as a warrior. Um, and I really like characters like that. And I think, you know, I, I'm sure everyone feels that within themselves, you know, the, having to balance more than one aspect of themselves and trying to reconcile that. There were lots of moments to develop and grow these, um, you know, kind of emerging themes that we hadn't anticipated. And the relationship between uh, Amenza and Izogi was definitely one of those. Um, Lashana and I did know each other before. We had mutual friends. And so we'd, we'd crossed paths a couple of times before, but we really became friends on this project um, because we were working together so closely. Um, and they kind of flank Naniska, Emenza and Izogi throughout the film. As I mentioned before, Izogi is kind of vice general to, Amen to Naniska's general. Um, and then Emenza is a sort of lieutenant, spiritual advisor, best friend. Um, and they're always either side of her. The stunt team, Danny Hernandez and his team were just like, so brilliant, so imaginative. I worked particularly closely with um, Johnny Gao, who was the fight coordinator, the US fight coordinator. And he's just a really, really special guy. And he's, um, he's extremely talented. I was working on the spear where most people were working on the machete. Um, and that was a conscious decision that we'd made. And so, you know, Johnny was very adept at martial arts, particularly the bow staff. So he basically was the spear guy. They covered their skin in oil, in palm oil, so that when people tried to grab them, <laughs> they kind of slipped off them, which, you know, from a cinematic point of view as well, is really amazing to see the kind of glistening skin of us all in the kind of moonlight. Um, and, you know, you, you, you'll see throughout the sort of costume and the hair and the makeup, everything means something. Um, on our cross belts, you know, where we hang all our sort of uh, daggers and gourds and things from, um, there are different etchings and carvings and everyone has different ones. And we were all able to pick ours as well, um, along with our uh, costume designer, Gersha Phillips. Um, and they all mean something. Um, they're all kind of ancient West African symbols that have meanings. Um, and for each character, we were allowed to kind of personalize that. And even my spear that I fight with is sort of personalized. Our weapons are our own weapons. <laughs> 